What are you doing, Logan? Oh, I thought today was a Nerf gun reveal. Sorry. Hey guys, Mech Store Gaming here. Hey, we just want to show you this video on our bug out bag that we did, or our survival bags. We had such a fun day yesterday doing this. We got most of this stuff at the dollar store. Um, we actually got probably three quarters of it at the dollar store. We went to Big Five and got the, you know, the packs. They were under $20 each. All in all, it was probably about $50 a pack that we got. We also hit Walmart for a couple of other things that you're not going to find at the dollar store. But it was really fun. Anybody can do this. And it's a great thing for any kid to go through looking at items that they might want when they want to have if they're going hiking, camping, or anything like that, just to, to show being prepared. So here is Mech Kid, and we are going to take a look, or Nerf Kid. We're going to take a look. Hi, guys. It's Nerf Friend and Nerf Kid here. We're going to do a review on our um, new survival kits. So these survival packs, you can bring anywhere. You can go camping with them. You can go hiking with them. And if the zombie apocalypse, and if the zombie apocalypse hits, this can be your bug out bag. First things first, let's look at the packs. Something that should be on your survival pack is that it should be lightweight and comfortable to carry. Most packs should have a compartment for water and pockets on the inside. What I like about my pack is that it has a water holder and it has ropes on it for carrying knives and carib caribbeans like this. And it has a flashlight on it. What I like about my bag is that there's a lot of pockets for ex for more tool for more survival tools that I might need. And there's also two water bottle uh, holders. One on this side and one on the side that already has a water. And you can also put a water bladder on your backpack and you put it in here and then the, the hose can go over your so shoulder and then you can just drink out of it. Okay, so what I am so what I am gonna show you is the these are called emergency food ration bars. These are apple cinnamon granola bars, and it has a five year shelf life, and it has six servings. So technically, it can it can um help me for two days worth of food. For the outside of my bag, I have a knife for maybe cutting something up, like the ration bar. If you wouldn't, if you don't want to waste a whole bar, you can just cut it up and cut it into smaller pieces. If you don't, if you're about to run out of food, or I have a flashlight. If it gets dark, I can turn this on, and I can find my way. And I have this, it's a whistle, a compass, and it's a thermometer. And, and a magnifying glass. And a magnifying oh, yeah. glass also. And it has a magnifying it glass right there. What can you use the magnifying glass for? You could use the magnifying glass if somebody got injured, like Nerf Kid. So you could look, I could, I could look fire. at his, um, I could let I look at his wound to see if there's anything inside of it. Or you could use it maybe to start a fire. Yeah. So. Or no, get water. Um, the most imp one of the most important things is water. We both have a big thing. We both, me and Rafe, have a big thing of Aquafina water. It doesn't matter what type of water you get. It's just water. And uh, you need water because um, uh, it's one of the top most. Uh, you, can only go three days without it. you can only go three days without it, so you can just like chug a little bit and then put it back and wait three days. So yeah. The next thing is a rag. I can use this for washing my face or first aid, like 
blocking a wound. So I'm going to show you my knife that has a paracord um, grip and um, it also comes with um, mag a magnesium rod and an iron rod. You can't really see it on camera. It's flint, I mean. I mean steel and the flint and it will make a spark and you can start a fire. For the next thing in my the next thing in my bag is one second. I can't seem to get that. Um, we have trash bags to carry food to use as a shelter to use as a um, <coughs> poncho if it rains. It's very useful. So the next thing that I'm going to show you, well, people don't die from starvation even though we have food. People die from can die from the elements, like from if you get too hot or too cold. So, um, you can get like you can I can grab like Reef's trash bag and um try and make a shelter like cut it and try and make a shelter with it by cutting up this uh bracelet because it's made out of paracord and paracord is like a kind of strong type of rope and um this bracelet also on the clipper has a whistle just in case me or reef get lost get like separated we can just whistle it and um uh maybe the other can maybe Rafe can hear me or I can hear Rafe. Well one thing that Logan forgot to say is that there's a little knife blade but I lost to cut knife. to cut off the paracord if you don't have a knife. But I lost mine. So my, my next item is gonna be <laughs> I'll do my emergency blanket. I have an emergency blanket because if the elements are, if it's really cold, I can just put my emergency blanket on and it'll warm me up a little bit. My next item is my multi-tool. My multi-tool can be useful because it has a lot of, it has one, two, three knives and a bottle opener and, um, and s screwed pliers and screw and the screwdriver. So it's just a really useful tool to have. My next item is, um, bath wipes. We have bath wipes. For if we just want to be clean, or yeah, if I took a poop, I can wipe my butt, or <laughs> if I got injured, I can wipe the wound up. My next item is this. It's kind of like a. It's for like um cooking something. If you have like a portable grill. I mean stove, but me and but you, can fire. you can even put it on a fire. But me and Rafe drink hot chocolate from it around the, campfire. around the campfire, or maybe even inside because we feel like drinking hot cocoa. My next item is a thing that you can wrap around your leg if you got it. A what? It's called a compression bandage. It's. It's good for wrapping around your leg if you got a sprained ankle or if you broke your leg. You, you, use your towel? you can put make a splint under. out of it. You can get a you stick. Take your towel and put underneath it and yeah, you can put your towel to make compression out of it so the wound stops bleeding. Or you can use this to um, 
make a splint out of it. That means that you get a stick, you put it right here, you put like five sticks around your leg, and then you wrap this around it, and it um, holds your leg in place if you break your leg. My next one is probably, my next one is probably kind of as probably one of the most important things. Uh, the first aid kit to go. Um, because just in case, like, if Reef loses his ration bandage, and I do, and if we lose our, all of our medical stuff, um, I'll still have this so I can repair you know a wound. Uh, it comes with two hand cleaning, clean, cleansing wipes, John and Johnson first aid guazoo pads, ba gauze pads, Band-Aids, brand fe flexible fabric, Band-Aid, brand uh, flexible fabric. So good basic. For, so technically like a good basic. We got that for at 99 cents. And we got this at the 99 cents store too. We got this at the 99 cents store too. It's a sewing kit. If People don't know that if that you're your jacket or your coat or like a shirt um is part of your um shelter. shelter you can sew up like if your shirt got ripped you can um sew it right back up and yeah yeah and um if a button fell off of your shirt if you have a button shirt you can uh there's extra buttons in there to sew a button back on. Also, my next item is I'm wearing it uh, rubber yellow gloves just in case you just don't want to get your hands dirty or if you think like if you touch something it has like poisonous something on it that can give you like a bad rash. It can just help you not get that Wait, poison on you. Just the next thing, my next item is spoons and forks and, forks and a knife for silverware if okay, you want to eat. More my food. next item is more food. It's a cup of noodles because... The ne my next item is playing cards for if you just get bored and you have We're nothing to do. My next one is an emergency poncho, just in case, sure. like, just an emergency poncho, just in case, like, it's really cold out and it's raining, so you don't get, hy you don't want to get hyperthermia from hyperthermia, it just helps you a little bit more. I have triple antibiotic ointment, um, it's kind of like Vaseline and it goes over a wound and then you can put a band-aid on it. So my next item is candles because um, just in case you need that extra light, I can or use, to start or to help you start a fire, okay. you can. Yeah. My next item is matches. It's a waterproof container that's, that holds the matches. Holds waterproof matches? Yeah. My next item is batteries because just in case my uh, flashlight runs out of batteries, I can just put some new ones back in. Cotton balls. Uh, my next item is cotton balls, and we put. This is kind of interesting because we, me and Logan, at first did not know what this did. We put petroleum jelly on it, which is Vaseline. And, and cotton balls and then mix it all together and then when you take a cotton ball out and you set it on the ground and light it on fire with our matches you can uh it like stays on fire for like three minutes so um if your fire goes out it'll the cotton balls will still be going my next item i am wearing it so you just saw us show everything to it there might be a part two because there's still some stuff that we didn't add to it that we might need like a pair like a hat and some extra clothing or sunglasses and gloves so yeah thank you for watching um us show you 
show you show us showing showing for us showing our survival packs don't forget to leave something in the subscription down below and don't forget to subscribe